Hey, Radiance here. Let's make a React component for uploading a file to a distributed storage IPFS. You can find both the demo and the source code in the description. Here we have a PDF file input component with value, error, and onChange properties. First, we render a wrapper that displays a label and error, if any. Then, based on value presence, we show either the selected file component or the file input. The file input component receives the on submit, accept, and is loading properties. We pad the accept object to the use drop zone hook to allow only specific file types and the on drop callback that will trigger the on submit property. To allow dropping files into area input, we leverage the use drop zone hook from the React drop zone library and pad the get root props to the container and get input props to invisible input element. Once the user has selected a file, we use the use upload file mutation hook. He will leverage a Web3 storage library to upload files to IPFS. The put method will return a content identifier from IPFS that we can wrap with the gateway prefix to get an accessible URL. The problem with this hook implementation is exposing the Web3 storage key with our front-end code. So take this part and use it on the back. One solution could be to upload the file to S3 storage using a pre-signed URL and then add the backend to duplicate the file to IPFS. I already have a video on S3, you can find it in the description. Another thing to note is that IPFS might delete your data to make room for other content. To prevent that, you need to use a pin service. There are plenty of them, but you would need to pay after exceeding the free tier. After upload success, we show the selected file component with the file's name. We extract with a tiny get distributed file name help. To reset the field and upload the file again, the user can press the remove button. That's all. Stay productive.